kind of was holding onto that buoy for dear life. You could tell he just helped me, you know, get me out. A bone chilling plunge into frigid waters leading to an all out rescue attempt on the Sacramento River. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Sharon Roger. The unexpected dive near the Delta King led to strangers stepping up to pull this man to safety before crews even arrived. Jennifer McGraw spoke to one of those rescuers tonight in a story you'll only see here on CBS 13. Jen? Tony and Shireen, witnesses say it happened near the Delta King. Somehow the man just ended up in the water and drifted all the way down here to this boat. Witnesses say the man was frantically swimming, but the current was just too much. Water rescue. Person in the water and backup shows crab shack between one DC one engine one medic one boat two zero five. The tail end of this dramatic rescue caught on camera. And my hostess says there's a man in the water. Manager Ross Billingsley at Rio City Cafe says it happened fast. Um, when he reached the end of the pier here, he actually went under for a minute. Um, and then I heard somebody yell, he's grabbed the buoy on the boat. Billingsley, along with two others, jumped on the boat beneath them, struggling to get the man on board. He came that close, you know, to not being able to catch onto that buoy. Billingsley said the man was fully clothed and somehow ended up in the icy river. I was like I said, reaching for him and I'm saying, you know, take my hand. We got to get you out. You know, he'd been in the water 15 minutes at this point and he goes, I can't. And you just saw him looking at me like do something. And they did. He was lethargic in the sense of the water so cold that he was probably first level, second level hypothermia. Soaked, rushing against time and the swift current. The three managed to pull the man up, knowing emergency crews still hadn't arrived. They had said there were boats on the way, stuff like that, but in this river, you know, with these temperatures, stuff like that, and the current, the current's the main thing. It would have, who knows? Billingsley is a former lifeguard and coach. He says his instincts just kicked in, and so too did several others willing to help. It was, it was actually nice to see that many people trying to help this individual. An individual who is lucky to have survived this frigid fall. Absolutely. And once the, re the rescuers got those wet clothes off of the man, they said there are EKG stickers all over his chest. And more alarming, he didn't remember his name.